Welcome back, everybody. Let's go find this final oh, fight God. that we were missing. Should be down in here. We just didn't go over here. No. Oops, excuse you. Whee! There they are. The shapeless assassin. Pressure and stagger. Okay. I got your mouth. Pressure it. That's on you. Bash full of feeling chilly. Good. Why don't you hang back? Oh, he did that. Well, oh, I got it. Okay, cool. Some, someone pressured something over there. All right. That's fine. Oh, he got pressured. Yuffie took care of it. Thanks, you. I was going to say maybe you need to use like the, the weaker move yeah. to pressure it versus the strong move to stagger it. Maybe. Any last words? <laughs> Deleted. <laughs> Dude was still like kicking like he was alive. Let's finish this. <laughs> he face planted him. Way to go. I'm gonna I'm gonna rub dirt in your eye. I'm gonna rub dirt in your eye. <laughs> Hello. Very impressive work, Cloud. You've completed this region's combat assignments. Thanks. Such harsh environments as these are bound to engender fiends as brutal as their habitat. They might have gotten the better of you, if not for my informative and entertaining guidance. Mm. Isn't that right, Chadley? The data we've collected from the anyway. <laughs> has helped us create a new combat trial. I hope you'll find it useful. Don't ignore me. Bird. So I watched the um that new Puss in Boots movie yesterday? Uh, the one with death? Yeah. That everybody wants to fuck? What? Yeah. They do? Yeah. He's a cool character, but I don't get that from him. Well... I don't get sex appeal from that wolf. Well... <laughs> one, one of the people being Bao, so... Uh, okay, that makes sense. Yeah, that... I Yeah, that's... Like, like after the fact, when, like, everything's died down, and we're just like, oh, it's, you know, cool death thing. Yeah. The only times I hear about it is <laughs> from that, and I'm like, oh, yeah, that's still a thing. Yeah, okay. Enough is enough. Enough is enough. This ends here. Um, I guess these guys are the bigger threat. I, I really enjoyed... Uh, watching it with the the animation was not great um, really because everything I've seen about it is there's so much uh, detail it's it really wasn't like it, it I don't know it's hard to explain without actually looking at it like um, someone someone showed me a frame by frame of uh, Puss actually killed him in one scene. Uh huh. But he just appeared behind him. But yeah. you can see the smear of him going from that vessel to the one behind him. Uh huh. And going in on, oh man, they do so much of this. Like, it's literally anime fighting. You is are. What it is. You are the only person I've heard to say it's not well animated. Yeah. It. I don't know. It just. It's very choppy. It's. It's like the across the the Spider Verse type animation in a lot of it and i'm not a fan of that type of animation i just i don't like it uh um, so you wouldn't want the uh the rumored batman beyond one uh i would because i want a batman beyond movie um but it's gonna be in the same style i can deal with it give me batman beyond shit i'm tired of regular batman yeah if if it means getting the foot in the door fucking do it but um that's not to say, like, Across the Spider-Verse is a bad story or anything. I like that. I like everything about it, just the animation's not for me. You know? I'm tired of the uh, multiverse already. That's I fair. haven't watched the movies. I'm tired of the multiverse. Yeah, that's fair. Everyone's doing multiverse theory right now, so I can I can understand that. Um, but anyways, I really enjoyed the, the movie. You know what? what Don't do the Batman Beyond movie. 
I, I think they've already killed it. No, no, I've heard I've heard it's still on the table after people seeing how much the fucking fans are going nuts about it. But I say don't do it. Because I know in a year from that movie coming out, it's going to be in the comic, Damien versus Terry, who's the real son of Bruce. I'm surprised they haven't already done it. I, if they haven't, I didn't see it. If they haven't, then the surprise. The best... The best uh, point in time to have done it is when uh, Injustice was so popular. Like, why didn't they? Well, it's because they've never had Terry be canon. Or canon. He'd, he'd still be... Well, by the time Terry would have been there, uh, uh, Damien would be in his, like, 30s, 40s. Uh-huh. Let's get a selfie together, okay? Come here. Well, I think he is in uh, oh, in Injustice, though. Perfect. He's not a kid in Injustice. I know. Yeah, that. he's like in his in his. Team. That's so fucking stupid. Do you, you know, you you played through Injustice. You know the story. I know a, enough of it. Damien killed Nightwing. <laughs> yes, I did. I did know that. You yeah. know how he killed him? It was stupid. He like threw the baton and at it him, hit him and he fucking the yeah, and he fucking died. Yeah. Take the photo and go. Sure. At that point, I would have doubled down and been like, well, Bruce, if that was your, if this was your man's and you're trying to take on Superman, you were fucked from the beginning. Yeah. Wow. It looks exactly like the photo they gave us. Guess we got to get these back to Caesar, huh? What is that? <clears throat> Don't worry about it. A whale of some sort. I don't know animals, all right? I also need to come down here, I think, because we still, we're looking for other things. Are we? Yeah. All the things for Bugenhagen. Mm-hmm. Um, I know where... That's the tower. I know where two of those, I know where those two are. I think we're literally standing, like, close to one. Um, one is actually near the, the first thing we just did for the, um... Proto relic. I think there's one over here. And yep, then, I remember the one next to the proto relic. And then there's one like uh, from where you're at, go mm -hmm. all the way to the left. There's a chocobo stop you didn't get either. Oh yeah, yeah, it's, it's down further down here, yeah. And it's next to that. Yep, there's one. It's in there. that cave. Uh huh. Hey, it's buddy. over that way. Yeah, it's behind these fucking things. Uh huh. Because I was like, why are these walls here? Get in there. And then is our thing back here too? No. Okay. No, but it's near here. It's by the Proto Relic. I remember seeing it now. Is this Blue Chocobo an invasive species? Yes. Why don't you pet me like that? <laughs> <laughs> Why is it giving you that look? <laughs> We're also here, guys. We're here to bunch up at the door and just fucking block it. Can I do these out of order, too? Uh, I think so. I, I mean, it wouldn't be on the map if I couldn't, right? Well. Yeah, okay, they're here. Oh my god, I didn't realize these were just going down. Okay, They're yelling timber. We gotta protect the spring. What if I destroy the barricade myself? Uh, this ends here. Game over. <laughs> Start back over at Gein Attack. Gotcha. Not bad. Now. Dang. Let's do this. What is that? What is what? <laughs> What was that blue stuff? Now. I don't know. You've been doing it all game. What happens a lot? Is that when we stagger it's them? Come down now. Oh, splendid job, I've been I've been wondering what the fuck that was the whole game. Chadley, explain. You're the only thing that I have on me that does shit like that. I'm sciencing. Keep talking. I'm gonna science. <laughs> It seems all but spent. Or perhaps 
It is on the verge of awakening. Wait, is it just me, or does that sound like a weapon? Ah, yeah. What do you mean, that thing that we were, that were that we means, heard inside his maybe. office? Ah, yes, we have not a moment to lose. We must continue our work. Other one is close to this thing, but it is further up here, and I think it's in these ruins. Yep. Oh no! Where did all these monsters come from? Hurry! We gotta protect the spring. God, Jesus Christ! Let's finish this. No more playing nice. So maybe when I get an ATB. When I get an ATB. Okay. That was excellent work. Let me in. Doesn't look good. Ten? No. Four hundred? The meter's going crazy. What's a GZ anyway? How do you even read this? GZ stands for Geisel, his first name. Bugenhagen was the first person to discover that the life stream emits energy we can measure. Oh, ho, ho, ho. <coughs> But that's not worth mention. So your thing More about him being your fellow is, is proven. Unfinished. Okay, his name is <laughs> Geisel. Let's get on with it while we still have the light. This is the site to which I would have you attend next. Good luck to you all, and safe travels. Bye. May come back. Units. Guys will come back. That's Mog. Okay. Mog is here. And then there was a tower on there as well. So is it this tower it was ex I think it might be. Wrong one. Yep, tower Mog. Somewhere around in there ish. Mog, there's that thing that was also on the on the map. We need to go around. Maybe it's around this way. Might be up there. Old worm crossing. Oh, well, we're close. Well, we see the barricade. Just look for, look for the. Uh, there, there we it go. is. Something isn't right here. Be careful. <laughs> is, it the, is it the griffins attacking a, a fucking boar? Yeah. Could that be it? Okay, good. Now we know. 
That doesn't look good. Whispers? Oh, we have been graced by curious guests. Hey, I was wondering, do you believe in fate? That something out there controls our future? Oh, ho, ho. fate is a salve we use to soothe the sting of disappointment. We are the masters of our lives, Nanaki. Would you not agree, Cloud? Ooh, he's spitting, but somebody get him yeah. a mouth guard. Sure. Said Sephiroth. He's spitting, but someone cover his mouth. Hmm. I think this sword will do. <laughs> my, my. Over 7,000. Hmm. I don't think we should be standing here. This is an hmm. unprecedented level of activity. Doubt Third eye grown. The flow hmm. of the live stream has shifted in some manner or another. The question is, was this shift natural? Or was it the product of an external force? A question for another time. One location we know remains. That, Tifa knows that. Tifa told you that. Yep. This is probably why he's doing it. To double check on her fucking crazy shit. Uh huh. I feel like Tifa should have something to say about this. Yeah. Looks like someone back in here. Actually, I think it's right here at this Choco stop, to be honest. Yep. It's right there. Where? To your left. Hold on, let me get off my my horse. Weird. I don't see any monsters <laughs> this time. Hmm. <laughs> a couple episodes back, I'm like, oh yeah, it's on Cloud's oh. left, and you're just like, Cloud's left is my left. It's <laughs> <laughs> a much bigger area than it should be. Yeah, it looks like a boss fight of some sort, probably. Nah. Most quests end in a fight. Nah. What are you talking about? Get out of here with that. Nah. Cloud. The Mako meter. The Mako meter. Oh. My shit's fucked. <laughs> My word. What the hell is that? Why can that? nobody see Sephiroth the Cloud? That is a good question. Allow me. Well, that He's is. in your head. This here. I mean, he is kind of there. Yeah. So. Yeah. Viscous oh, webbing. Oh. Shreds. Oh. oh, Cloud is getting his ass beat and eat. We were, um... So it's it's springtime, almost summertime. Uh, so flowers are coming into my area, and my my manager goes, my store manager goes, "Hey, can you help me get uh, take these flowers off these carts and put them on the tables?" I go, "Don't we have a team for this?" And she goes, "Yeah, we we've got two people, but one of them just started and doesn't know anything about plants." And I go, "Cool, they're on the same level of plant knowledge as I am." Yeah. <laughs> she kind of stopped and then took the time to explain to me and my manager about all the plants and then he looks at me and goes so she's fucking gone we're leaving these plants uh-huh perhaps i am getting too old for this <sighs> my point exactly i learned far more than i anticipated today oh i harbored doubts I now concede that you were right. You, you are paying people fifteen dollars an hour. No one gives a fuck about your plans. Well, the thing, the thing I have is like, 
how are you? She she tried to guilt me with that. It's like, oh well, she just started, so she doesn't know anything about it. Go, yeah, cool. I've been here for over two years and don't, I don't know, know anything shit. About it. <laughs> I don't know anything about flowers. It's not like there's a CBL, which there should be if you're working in garden. Well, they have stuff to put down for plants, like um, which kind of fertilizer you use in certain areas. But right, I believe the planet is changing. Not how to take care of any of the plants that you guys are housing, or to know which fuck it. How do you tell what a vine is different from a sweet potato vine? Using fables and Cetran tomes. I don't know. I, I did not believe they existed. Is it the thickness of the vine? I don't know. I didn't know we carried sweet potato vines. Did I dismiss the tales? But an old lady asked us about it, and we said, "Oh, we don't know." And then that bitch came back and goes, "You guys should know what you have in stock." And she holds up one of the sweet potato vines. I was terrified. Thanks, bitch. Uh -huh. Now, now show me a regular vine. Oh, uh, the best part is that it was me. Hi, my name is Jared. I'm 19, and I never learned how to fucking read. It was me, my supervisor, our supervisor, and uh, the appliance supervisor. We're all just sitting around talking. When she did that, she brought it up to Kenya, and Kenya just goes, "Okay, thank you." Mm -hmm. She basically had the "Okay, bitch." Yeah. Like, as soon as she fucking turned around, I can't believe that fucking bitch come up here. <laughs> like, the amount that people are getting paid, no one gives a fuck. You're looking for a thing? Might as well just do it yourself, man. That's, what, that's why we all have fucking computers in our pockets. To look up the aisle numbers ourselves. I would agree. Plants don't work like that. I wish it did. Yeah. We have all the plants aren't scanned in because we don't know when we're going to get them. And there's too many to keep count of. And, yep. And you'd have to uh, scan them out every time like one of them dies or goes on clearance and all that shit. So they come in, we have zero on hand, and we'll have a full table of them. I wonder how much money Lowe's and Home Depot lose just out of plants alone. Uh, we lost over 10000 last year. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Why keep doing it? Because it sells well. The Does it? Of both the planets and the life stream. The lives of just fucking sell seeds. Don't go ahead and just sell plant. already pre pre done <laughs> plants. We're talking all over Bugenhagen's big moment here, but it doesn't matter. Nobody all, cares about the life stream. It's 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 all like flowery bullshit about saving the world. Um, but no, see, here's here's what my store does. We get a whole department of, of plants. One waterer. Mm -hmm. And they only schedule her from 6 to 10 twice a week. So they're all going to fucking die in South Carolina. Uh-huh. We, we put sprinklers on every night. Mm -hmm. Front and back. Front of the store and in the store. So then what's the point of the waterer? Because they're not. it's not enough. I endeavor to do just like, that. I go out there and check, and they're fucking bone dry. I know I put those sprinklers on when I fucking anything. left. I don't understand. You know. hmm. All right, just <sighs> try not to overdo it. For me? Why did we get a book for Kate Seth for this? He's not even involved in this oh. quest. I don't know. Who could this be? Why, it's from a watchman in town. How are? I'm getting paged oh. on my phone. What did you say? Is something wrong? <laughs> I fear there is. The survey team has returned with reports of sightings of eyeball. deep spirits within <laughs> the veil. But they were You're never allowed the to bitch about Yuffie. Indeed yeah. they were. I can attest to that. So how did they get out? Well, these are spirits, Nanaki. Who knows what they can or cannot do? Though I know this is sudden, will you lend us your ray? Yeah. Go and speak to the watchman at the gate. I will return to the Vale on my own. To the watchman. Good. Because I think we're done with everything but the Jabberwock fight. And the Proto Relics. Um, we're at 24 minutes. Let's go do side quests. And maybe find this bitch that's out here. Oh, good. Nanaki. We just got word from the survey team that they spotted the gi right outside of town. How do you guys know yeah, what the gi looked like? Are they okay? They weren't attacked, were they? 
McGee? Don't no. Worry. Our people? Everybody's fucked fine. up. They're dead. They're, they're the dead. So they were able to escape in time. Though they had to leave their truck behind, unfortunately. Okay, I'll go take a look. We can't let more into the veil. Appreciate it. Just, uh, be careful out there. No. Anyways. Uh, what's going on? Is somebody... The planet guided due to our store. Mm -hmm. Each day. So, in... Go to the uh, thingy, the quest board, and go to the left. How did? How the fuck did I miss it? Big ol' sign says still in. I'm looking for the bar. That's because I was looking for a bar, not an inn. You can drink at an inn. Yeah. I've never done it before. I I would assume that the bar at at a hotel would be overpriced. Oh, absolutely. Oh, oh this guy. I enjoy this. Used to be a soldier. Lots of hand signals. That's how Shinra sign language. Which is wild that Cloud knows it. Uh huh. Well, he did. He did do military stuff, so that would make sense. Yeah, that should be in his basic training or whatever. Mm -hmm. So Robin's the only one left? Mm hmm Okay. Destroys an allied card and replace it. Ooh. It's a two, though. Better than the... Grand Horn? Yeah. Because I think Grand Horn's a three. Yeah, Grand Horn is we a We never got three to try the Amalgams! And only does an L. So, if anything, if the Amalgams don't, like, turn out well, then I'll probably switch them out for the Amalgams. Okay, so... Okay, that's not a bad starting hand. No. You got your Tonberry King. Yeah, I got the Tonberry King. Let's go ahead and get rid of that. I only need the Heat Seeker. Heat Seeker, yeah, that should be good. Put the Heat Seeker in the bottom corner. Oh, no, Deathclaw in the bottom corner. Oh, there we go, yeah. Good first move. Solid first move. And then we'll put the Sandhog Pie next to it. Oh. Oh no, he knows a strat. Oh, I guess maybe not the Sandhog Pie then. We'll wait for that. Yeah. We'll wait till we can get the... Uh... Okay, well. <laughs> Seems like he's going to benefit from our cards being destroyed. Mm -hmm. That's okay. It'll be fine. We'll have more benefits. <sighs> that heat seeker might have been a mistake. Nah, it's fine. That doesn't get destroyed unless uh, that its effect doesn't activate until it's destroyed. That's fine. Oh, a Joker, good. But I do need things to actually do stuff now. Uh, put the bloat float in that corner. Or that too. That works too. Mm -hmm. Jesus fucking Christ. Where are my cards? Put your bloat float. Yeah. Or that. That works too. Thanks, asshole. Where is he? I don't know, man. I'm literally set up. There you are. God damn, where you been, motherfucker? Okay, so now they do... Up and down. Lower the power of allied and enemy cards on affected tiles by two while card is in play. Interesting. That'll destroy your mind flare if you put it above it. Yeah, I don't think the amalgam is what we need. Shame. If you put that bloat float down, 
Maybe it'll kill that capper wire. This capper wire? Yeah. Do we take that? No. Damn. No, we don't. That's the one drawback of the bloat float. I should have put it up top. Yeah. I should still put it up top so I can take that at least. And kill that guy. Putting down that second Tomberry King is what saved you. Mm-hmm. It was the only move I had. That Mandragora up top. Mm -hmm. Cool. You did his gimmick better. Uh huh. So yeah, I'll take the amalgams out. Which is a shame, because we, now we know what they can do, but... And maybe put this this Chimera in? I don't know. It's because it's a, it's a, it's a two, so... Hang on. Are you ex-military too? What would you replace? Maybe the back corner cor like monster? It just gives me things to do. Solid idea. Good luck with that. And I can't wait till we get back to um, Gold Saucer again, and we can do the challenges to get like the teammate cards, because they're pretty cool. Yeah. Like um, Sids, for example, gives you the Tiny Bronco when you play him. Get to them all, I feel like it's time to get rid of bloat floats too. They're good to get rid of a monster on their side though. If I really need it, yeah. Or even not get rid of it, it weakens it by four, which is a lot. Yeah. I could also put the arch dragons back in too. Because at least weird... I get the spot for the thing that they kill. Do you? Uh huh. But it is a three, so I really wouldn't want to use them unless they're up in that front spot. That uh, the Death Wheel is also one, but it's got such a weird placement for its ability. Mm -hmm. It's it like you to have be to be top. in the top or in the bottom, and mm -hmm. it only gets the corners. Yeah. So we played around with Death Wheel before too, and it it just wasn't optimal. I think I think we're fine. What does Infidex do? Where is it? This guy? Yeah. Oops. Ooh. First time this car is enhanced, raise the power of... Oh, that's Which, nothing. Yeah, that's a whole different deck. That's uh, a whole deck. different deck. <laughs> so the the I place. say when you uh, when we get to Hectize, that's one you might want to see if you can throw in. Okay. Because it's like... Um, it's got such a weird range of like cards around... Like points around it. Mm -hmm. And it's a one, but when it's destroyed, it ups the cards of the thing on the, uh, on the red squares. So it's it's like loveless, but not everybody. Oh, we're turning this on. Okay, right. So why is that a thing? Surprised we didn't have a go take a nap, Cloud. Yeah. We haven't slept in days. We don't have fucking... Like, there's no reason for ends in yeah. this game. Mm-hmm. Hello, Lessons of the planet be upon you. Left. That's why Are I you said in need it. of guidance? Is this... Oh, the, the pictures. Mm-hmm. Mm. I think Snap oh, is over yeah, here, Yeah, you need to talk to Snaps. I think he is over here. Taking pictures of people at their AA meeting. Ah, the falling stars have indeed revealed themselves to us. 
Mm -hmm. sure have. All three of your photographs are precisely what I require. Yes, these will make a marvelous reference for posterity. Hmm. Okay. It's as an always, accessory. Our planet is as strong as she is beautiful. No matter the calamity, we have no reason whatsoever to fear for her demise. Interesting. It appears that there are more that comets than were previously observed. Perhaps this is a sign that our planet has, in fact, grown Louis more Swap. robust. <laughs> yes. Sure yeah, you know that guy from 14. <laughs> yeah. The guy that's now my Phoenix summon or some shit. The, the, guy, the guy from 14 that you and I have never experienced because we never played the original game. Yeah. Well, they're doing nerd shit. Well, only what anyone else would. I just asked the stars to protect us from harm. Great. Thanks, bitch. Now it'll never happen. Of course. That face you made Birthday earlier. cake rules or what whatnot. Was that about? Don't know what you mean. When you wish upon a star. Guess the shooting stars have said their piece. Yeah, so, in uh, in the Puss in Boots movie, they got Big Jack Horner in it, mm -hmm. and it's voiced by uh, John Mulaney. Is he hilarious? He's uh, some somebody did like all of the. Did you realize that he's just Disney? Yeah. Yeah. It is hilarious. He has all of the fucking like fairy tale shit. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he's got all the magic. That's his. That's his story. He wants all the magic for himself. Uh, and he ends up getting uh, Jiminy Cricket at one point as his conscience for a mm -hmm. little bit. And he just straight up murders people. <laughs> and Jiminy's like, "What the fuck, bro?" Quite the view you captured. <laughs> oh, you didn't turn so in his good. other one. Uh, you just turned into association. Your talents are inimitable. You've got quite the portfolio now. Can't wait to see how it grows. So you've got uh, Big Jack Horner as the bad guy. You've got Goldilocks and the Three Bears, and then you also have Death. So many bad guys in this movie. <sighs> it was good. Oh, right, we haven't finished the Proto-Relic shit. Yeah, we'll get there. Ground level, yeah, that's fine. That gets me close. <laughs> Guess I'm too close to the gate. Well, that's on fire. Tis him, Seto. What? I'm not Seto. I'm. Boats of wretch. You think we shall be fooled again? Funny you guys not have faces, but Natak did. Here we shall have our revenge. Hey, yo! What are you doing with the penguins? Possessing the penguins. Oh. <laughs> enough is enough. <laughs> Juggle the penguins. Oh, not different at type enemies, so. nope. They're basically just using something to attack you. No more playing nice. We will not be denied. After them. What now? Let's go. We're going to fight every single, like, enemy type. Enemy type here. Probably. Carapus Crush. That's always been a hard word for me to say, too, because I just didn't know that that was even a word. Carapus? Uh huh. I've never heard of it before. Um, until, like, you know, these games. And they became items. I. Chrono Cross. There's an enemy that drops Carapus. Mm -hmm. And I was like, what's a Carapace? Yeah. Same with, like, Chassis. 
chassis. Like, it does not look like it's. It does not look like it's spelled the way that it's said. No, you're right. Chassis came when I was uh when we were doing auto mechanics. That's when I started to learn how to say chassis correctly. I mean, sitting in a in a classroom until it was time to go. Yes. <laughs> we we did this shit. We got a platinum uh, Pokedex completed. Yeah, I guess. You're dead. That was all you and I did. We fucking played Pokemon in the corner. We learned how to hotwire a car and where to steal your drugs. Oh, no, no, no. We learned how to hide, your hide, hide the drugs in the tire. You're dead. Which I don't think that works anymore. Yeah, probably not. The, the noses on dogs are better now. Or tires are thinner. Could be that, too. You're dead. You're done. He's dead and done. Yep, there he All goes. All right, holy fuck, dude. Selling like Ziggler. I was gonna say. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, Nemeth, because he's not Ziggler anymore. Oh, uh, where's he at now? Uh, New Japan. Oh, okay. I think. Good for him. You know, he's not in this game, in the 2K24. Yeah, I think he got released the year before. Mm. Shame. Well, he, he's been he's been all over. Like, hey, you guys know I should be fucking gone. Because I can't fucking... You can't miss me if I'm still here. Yeah. You would bring us salvation. Uh, what? I never agreed to that. Do not feign ignorance, Seto. What the fuck? Best do it right. Magic is a fact. This ends here. Okay. So because it's not a strict magic. Move, don't let me down. Okay. Here goes. Fuck you, dude. Maybe just throw Yuffie's uh thunder on her on her thing and just cast ninjutsu. You. You or that, that works too. Or maybe it was because you had fire on it too. It's always funny to just spot Bear in the background running around. Yeah. You had to go and wake the beast! Nuh-uh! How you like this? Ready to mess him up good? I've got this. Get lost! Gotcha. This one's for you! Maybe it was only in his, uh, in his red state. Oh, he had spirit shield up, so maybe that's what it was. He was trying to cast it when I'm you killed him. Seto. Hmm. I'm his son, Nanaki. There's a lot of things I don't know yet, but I want to learn. Can you teach me about my father? About you? Your father. I see. As you wish, son of Seto. What would you like to know? Huh. Seto ventured deep into the caverns below your home that day. Alone, that he might persuade us to cease our ingress. Though yes, we had yes. braced ourselves for battle, we found ourselves captivated by his resplendent mane. He was a beautiful creature in both body and soul. So swayed were we by his courage and sincerity that we chose to entrust with him our singular desire. So then why'd you kill him? Yeah. We desire the return of our black materia and deliverance from this purgatory. 
We believed Seto to be a man of his word, but his betrayal proved otherwise. Oh, yes. Our hopes placed in him, only to be trampled upon. We were forsaken, overcome with rage. But how did he betray them? Uh, he didn't one get them the black one, material. Our oh. arrows found their mark. Yet Seto was unfazed by our assault. As a confidant, our secrets he would keep. As a penitent, our vengeance he would accept. Yet Seto would not forsake his duty to keep us from the veil. He was resolute, his will adamantine. And with every arrow that struck, his body hardened to match his resolve before our very eyes, unmoving in the face of our relentless onslaught. Was not long until we lost heart, conceding the futility of our plight, and sank back into the dark depths whence we came. Yet the darkness granted us no comfort, and certainly not the oblivion for which we so desperately yearn. I... I know this might sound hard to believe, but I want to finish what my father started. I want to fulfill his promise to you. Is that so? And even if you don't trust me, Gina Talk does. He asked me to get back your materia. Like I told him, I'll do everything I can to make sure you can rest in peace. All I ask is that you wait in your cave until I return. And if we comply, you will keep your word. It Just might gonna take have to some trust time, it. But I'll do it. Very well. At long last. And thus, the promise has been made. See that it is not broken, son of Seto. What are you gonna do? Turn me to stone? You sure about this? They're gonna hold you to it. And I hope they do. Dad understood the Gi's suffering, but he also understood others would suffer if the Gi ever got the materia back. He was willing to bear that pain for them, even if it turned him to stone. If it meant that he could spare others from their wrath. We just have to find that black materia. And we have to make sure that no one gets their hands on it. Not the Gi or anyone else. But I do want to keep my promise. I'm going to find a way to release them from their suffering. There's got to be an answer out there somewhere. And I'm not going to stop searching until I find it. Oh, ho, 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 ho. Spoken like a true watch. Why are you always you here? Our hopes and our dreams give us strength. Remember that. Hold tight to yours and see that you never let them go. In time, they shall lead you to the answer you seek. All right. And so we just got the Jabberwock and the Proto Relics left. Sweet. So I guess that'll be next episode. Yeah. And then we're out of here. That's fun. That's good shit. Just one more episode to just slog through before new story. Mm-hmm.